Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Universal's Volcano Bay, and welcome back to Water Park Week. This park is so much fun. There's so many awesome water attractions. The Fearless River, which is a lazy river, but it's not so lazy. It's actually quite fast. And just being here, I mean, I feel like I'm in Hawaii and I'm just in a tropical paradise. But other than that, it's just going to be a fun day. I don't really have a plan at all. We're just here to have fun. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Welcome to Universal's Volcano Bay, which is my favorite water park ever. It's going to be such a fun day. We have perfect weather. Let's head in. Come on. Looks like today's park hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 o'clock p.m. And then if you're walking in and if you decide last minute you want to rent a cabana or premium seating, you just head over here to the ticket sales and guest services. This one is guest services. This one is ticket sales. I don't think we are doing any upgrades today because we did get here a little bit later in the day, but it doesn't look that busy at all. Look, we get to just walk right in today. If you are traveling here with the kiddos and if you are wondering how tall do you have to be to ride these water attractions, here you go. For the more intense attractions, you have to be at least 48 inches. And then for everything else, you have to be between 42 and 48 inches. And then for two attractions, there's a maximum height of 54 inches and 48 inches. I think one of the coolest things about coming here to Volcano Bay is you get these cool tapu tapus to wear around the park and this is basically your ticket. You'll scan these to get your virtual queue, come back time to ride some of the water attractions and they're just really fun. They're kind of like a magic band. Can I just say? Yes. That I really do appreciate these tapu tapu bands because you yeah. don't have to wait in crazy long I know. lines. You know, you're already in a bathing suit. It's, it's hot. It's hot. You're sweating. You're barefoot. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> so thank you so much, Volcano Bay. Yeah, it really does this. make a difference and it just makes you know, your visit here to Volcano Bay yeah. even more seamless. Yeah, so we can like... And convenient. This, we can go to Krakatawa. Yeah. 150 minutes And we can right scan, now. and Scanning. we don't have to wait in a physical line. We can I just love that. go about our day and then come back. It will actually vibrate and tell us, hey, it's time to ride. Enjoy now. Yeah, ride now. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Another thing that I just love about Volcano Bay is, of course, the scenery. Because, I mean, look at these flowers. Those are real flowers. I feel like I'm in Hawaii. Man, it is also a gorgeous day outside. And here we are at the front of Volcano Bay. Look at this view. It never gets old. I have to mention this because Volcano Bay has the cleanest and the best restrooms out of all of the water parks. And I was just at Blizzard Beach the other day. Those restrooms are fine, but not compared to here. I mean, they have actual changing rooms. They have actual showers plenty of you know toilets and such and they're always just so clean hey babe yeah. do you remember sometime last summer when we had the opportunity to stay inside of the new yeah. tower here at cabana bay we had the best view ever we really did we got I, to see volcano I, bay i remember walking into the doorway and like we both screamed like oh my god by the volcano yes. yeah it was a beautiful <laughs> view however it was a little noisy because we heard the, the chime. yeah at 7 a.m. Yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> what a way to wake up. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Here's an overview of the park. It's a very big water park. There's so much to do here. Here's one of two lazy rivers. This one is the calmer lazy river, but I wanted to show you how interactive these tapu tapus are. Look at that. They'll get to spray people as they float by pretty empty inside of the lazy river right now. Keep in mind, if you're coming here with the kiddos, they have their own designated area just for the children. There's a lot to do. Ooh, I found another interactive point. 
Oh yeah, it sprays more people. Looks like I got them just a little bit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tap our Tapu Tapu to get a return time to come back and ride the best attraction here at Volcano Bay, Krakatau, the Aqua Coaster. Right now it has a 160 minute wait. All right, we'll see you soon. We're in line. And here's the second of the two lazy rivers here at Volcano Bay. This one is the Fearless River. It's pretty intense, hello. I think we found our spot where we are going to set up shop for the day. With this view, there's the Fearless River. We found these two lounge chairs right here with this umbrella. And there's like nobody around us. Passing by some of the cabanas that you can rent when you're here on your visit. I have already done a full detailed tour video on these cabanas if you're interested. I'll be sure to leave the link down in the description. If you were interested, unlike Disney, they have a designated smoking area inside of the park. Before we hop in the water, we do need to purchase a locker for the day. This is the family size lockers. And then over here, are these standard lockers. These are pretty small. I do think the price to rent the lockers went up because to purchase the family size lockers, these are the ones we want, $16. But I mean, I do really like the bigger lockers because I mean, look at the amount of space that you have. Perfect for us too. I am going to go ahead and switch to the GoPro. It's time for the Fearless River. You do need to wear a life vest at all times, no matter what. It looks like they moved the entrance to the Fearless River here at Hammerhead Beach. So you need to walk around. There's the Feasting Frog, and this is, I guess, the new entrance to the Fearless River. I'm pretty proud of myself right now, and I just wanted to share, I guess, this news with the world. I fit a size large now in life vest or a life jacket. I was like an extra large double X. Progress. We're in. It's happening. <laughs> Whoa. We're just going right in. Right for it. I am being pushed by the water. <laughs> oh man. And also the water feels great. It's not cold. It is heated somewhat. I think we went around the Fearless River about six times. I think we're calling it because we still have a lot more to do. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this view. This looks like a screensaver. We are now here about to hop in the wave pool. I love this wave pool. It is a lot of fun, but this is on the main beach. But there's all kinds of different areas to sit around the park if you don't want to sit where everybody else is because the majority of the people will set up shop here on the main beach next to the wave pool.
Hello? Anybody home? I think he has the day off today. Okay, I'm back on the big camera. It was fun. We went down multiple water slides. We really enjoyed the Fearless River. I think we went about, I don't know, between six and eight times around the Fearless River. We went to the calm, lazy river. Wasn't as fun as the Fearless River, but it was a super fun day. Wasn't crowded at all. I think the longest we waited was for a cracker towel, which was 160 minutes. And now the park's about to close. We were going to try to get food inside of the park, but because it's about to close, I figured we would just walk over to City Walk and grab some early dinner, I guess. Late lunch, early dinner. I have a question. Do these really work? So you pay $6 to dry off, but I've never used one. Have you? Did they work? Let me know down in the comments. I like this Volcano Bay shirt. What's on the front? Just the logo. And then I think they have a tank top right here to match. The tank top, $27. The shirt, $28. Ooh, is this a candle that smells like Volcano Bay? South Tiki Trail from Magic Candle Company. They have a tiki you can buy, another water bottle, two different types of water bottles, a tie-dye coffee mug down there, and a shot glass to match. We have changed and freshened up. We are now leaving Volcano Bay and heading over to City Walk. Goodbye, Volcano Bay. But first, before we leave, we do need to return our Tapu Tapus. I really appreciate how they just have buses waiting for us to take us back to the parking garage. Do you remember that scene in Shang-Chi when he's fighting <laughs> on the bus, like the bus we're on right now? I don't know. I just... They cut right through it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Right in the middle. Right, that dude with the sword as an arm. I, I forget his name, but yeah, that scene. That's a great movie. Yeah, that scene. <laughs> My bad. That's the dude I was talking about. Hello, Mardi Gras tree. I don't think this tree can take any more beads from the weight because they're starting to, I guess, level down. <laughs> That's a lot of beads. Well, that was a quick and easy walk over. We absolutely love the cowfish here inside of City Walk. Let's see if we can dine at the bar or get a table. Hopefully there's not a wait. It's still kind of early. We are sitting at the bar and I ordered an old fashioned with whistle pig. This old fashioned is amazing. It is so delicious. This is exactly what I needed after our day at Volcano Bay. And for our appetizer, we are sharing the fried pickles. And if you like fried pickles, this is the place to come because these are so good. Finally, our food has arrived. We are sharing the Texas Longhorn. It looks so good. Let's give it a try. Leaving Cowfish now, it was amazing. I highly recommend this place. If you need some food that's not theme park food, and if you're at Universal, come check this place out. I promise you will not be disappointed. The food quality was great. The service was great. I'm only doing this because I think we deserve it after the week we've had just from, you know, putting in our work at the gym and also getting through life together. It's been, it's been a challenge this week, but we've been making do, so let's go reward ourselves with Cold Stone ice cream. Oh my heavens, decisions, decisions. I got the cake batter ice cream with brownie and yellow cake. Look at that goodness. Uh oh, look at that talent right there. So I got the founder's favorite, which is the sweet cream ice cream. Pecans, caramel, fudge, and brownie in it. And then I added rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, babe. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here. You know, you don't know how much you miss sugar until you completely cut out sugar. Well, not completely, but I've cut out a good chunk, a good portion of my sugar intake. And that was a lot of sugar just now. So I feel like I'm kind of on a sugar high. I kind of like it. 
What a fun day we had over at Universal's Volcano Bay. I absolutely enjoyed myself. That is the best water park. It was just a lot of fun. Really enjoyed the Fearless River, really enjoyed the Aqua Coaster, and just being at Volcano Bay, getting to lay out and just take it all in. Enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the sun, and just enjoy being at Universal before spring break. Now, spring break really kicks in next week, at least here in Central Florida, and then it just goes on from there into mid-April. So if you're coming down here, in the weeks ahead. Good luck, pack those patient pants, but just enjoy yourselves. Just because there's nothing like being here at Universal during this time of spring break, and then before you know it, it's going to be summertime. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Get you one more time I'm leaning right across the